Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to Project Pan. Yes, this is the finale of my Finish 5 by Fall. It is the day after the first day of fall. Also, I wanted to get this video out. I'm not feeling my best, but if I don't do it today, I'm not gonna get it done. So let's get into the video. If you didn't know, first of all, what Project Pan is, it's basically you are focusing on using products that you currently have and using them over a period of time to get some good use. I have always said that Project Panners are to me some of the best reviewers because they've used the product over a span of time. So I started this Project Pan in summer and now it's ending in fall. I am going to start doing one uh, very soon. I'm gonna come back with another Project Pan, but basically I wanted to give you guys what the deal is in case you didn't know what project pan is so in this project pan I have completed two products I'm gonna show you I have decluttered two and I've also considerably got down and gotten over halfway done with another bottle so the first thing that I have completely finished is the Smashbox primer water now this is the second one so I'm halfway through so basically one and a half and in a three month span, I believe this is finished right by fall. I think I started this in summer. So I finished one completely and well, I finished, I don't want to say finished one completely. I finished a bottle. I didn't finish the whole like all the way down. I think it was already like a substantial amount. If you want to see how much, go ahead and check out the intro. But this is the second bottle. So I finished that one and I got halfway through this one. I like the Smashbox Primer Water. This has grown on me. At first, I didn't like it, but I like this because it is silicone free, it's alcohol free, and it's oil free. So if you're oily or you don't like silicone based type of primers, this is a good one. Okay, so the other product that I have completely finished is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I finished this yesterday on the day of, which is Sunday, I finished this on the last day of fall i was like so determined to get this done i was mixing it in with another product that i'm going to show you that i got a substantial amount i call myself marking it and i don't know what happened but i'll show you guys the bottle but the luminous silk foundation is officially done this is in number nine i would pick this up again i will once i get through some other foundations but this is such a beautiful formula i really do like it it gives me that light skin and it just sits beautifully on the skin. This is the Becca backlight, uh, backlight priming filter. And I got halfway done with, through this. It was all the way at the top. If you want to see where it was before, um, I actually was like, like all the way up here. And now if I let it settle, I was trying to let the product settle. It's like all the way down here. Okay. So that's a really big, um, really big jump. If you want to get through your glowy products, Mix it in with your foundation or your moisturizer and it's like two steps in one because sometimes this goes missing but I'm gonna tell you I have this on today it makes the skin it just it's like backlight it peers it like peers through your foundation so beautifully so I really do like this would I pick it up again yes I would so these this one I'm done with this one I'm halfway done with and I did declutter my dark chocolate soleil. I gave that over to my sister because I, I have so many other bronzers. And the next thing, Tarte Shape Tape. I am nowhere, I feel like I'm nowhere near this. This is like the everlasting gobstopper, you know, from Willy Wonka, like it never ends. That's how I feel about this. But I used it today. I'm going to tell you, no, I didn't use this. I had this on earlier then I took my makeup off and put on makeup forever but this I don't have it dries down I don't really have to set it with the powder that's the wonderful thing about Tarte Shape Tape would I pick it up again I am loving my Born This Way right now but I do like that this ha uh, I do have a comparison of this this reminds me of the Born This Way but the Born This Way is not as drying as this this is going to be great in the spring and summer just because I don't have to dry it down I don't have to powder it down, but in the winter and the fall, it's going to be a little bit too dry. So um, we'll see. We'll see. I might end up using that and just really hydrating my under eyes, but we'll see. And then finally, I did put in the Ambient Lighting Palette by Hourglass. I love this palette. I did get considerable. Um, I did not hit pan on any of them, but I did 
wear them down a bit. These two particularly, I do mix these together to put all over the face. This one in the middle, I kind of like do the soft focus around the cheekbone area. And I really do like this palette a lot. I am going to give this one more year. I'm going to put this in another project pan. And because I really love hourglass powders, I did pick up the ambient palette. This is the palette. Now, this does to me have some of the, the colors or the shades in here. Like these two remind me a lot of the ambient edit. So if you haven't picked up the ambient edit, but you want to get this and you are a woman of color, I would say get this. This can look a little bit too ghost on you just to be honest, just because these have that shimmery. And if you want to set your under eye, I would not recommend it if you are deeper than my skin tone. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this finale. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you are running out of, what you have to run out of. I am going to continue to use. I'm so glad that I got my full use of this. This is like $64 now. It was like $62, $2 less. But yeah. So glad I got through this, got some things decluttered, got some things finished that I love. And some of these I'm going to continue and probably put in a rolling project pan. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below. I do have a, I do have a pan that palette going on right now with my modern Renaissance palette, which I am wearing today. Everything that I'm wearing, by the way, is down in the description box because I know you guys get curious. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.